Welcome back. Um, so we are back in the uh, Redwoods here today. Um, getting some really nice foggy conditions. Really hard um, to be upset with the conditions we're getting today. Last time we are here, um, it was pretty difficult to uh, kind of get the conditions we wanted. I know that, you know, we're not supposed to have expectations or anything, but even when I say I don't, I do a little bit. Um, so being able to get some nice foggy redwood shots today has been really nice. Um, we did actually time it right um, to the point where we were able to get some of the rhododendrons, um, but I haven't really seen any like compositions that have really you know jumped out at me. So I don't know if I'll actually get any or not, but it's been really nice to see them. Um, I think we're just kind of at the tail end of the bloom, but yeah. So thanks for following along. We'll see how the rest of the trip goes. Um, really excited to be back out here. So we finished up uh, shooting uh, this area of the park this morning. Uh, like I was saying earlier, got some really nice fog. Um, probably head back to the end, get a little breakfast, and then kind of see where the rest of the day takes us. We need to check into our campsite a little bit later. And uh, yeah, we'll kind of see what happens, but really beautiful foggy conditions here on the coast.
right, so I think we're at our campsite for the night. Well, maybe not. We might be going to an overlook later to kind of see if sunset happens or not. But um, yeah, just making a little dinner. Um, gonna, yeah, hopefully relax the rest of the, rest of the night and check out a few, uh, a few more spots tomorrow. So yeah. Well, made it up to one of the overlooks over here, and it is socked in. So maybe we'll have to try another day out here this week. But uh, awesome day so far today. Got some nice stuff this morning. Looking forward to having a couple more days in the trees and hopefully getting some more, I don't know, good compositions or something. But really peaceful, and I love fog. It's great. Yeah. All right, well, second day here, just woke up. Um, we're gonna get ready to go here and check out one of the other uh, redwood groves. Hopefully that all pans out. Um, not as foggy here right now, but I think it's a little better inland, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so we'll kind of explore a little bit today and you know, see what looks good. Breakfast of champions right here. Well, we're at another redwood grove this morning. Got some really nice, uh, really nice fog, and it's actually kind of raining. It's like a light mist. Uh, some big water drops falling on my head here. Um, yeah, really pretty. Getting some. Uh, yeah, we'll see how the compositions turn out, but so far it's been really nice. Uh, actually, quite a lot of rhododendrons here this morning. So, looking forward to seeing what the rest of the area looks like, and yeah, kind of going from there. Wow, what a morning. Um, I thought that we were kind of getting here on the end of the rhododendron bloom, but I think it just depends on where you're at in the park because we're at one of the um, groves, a little, it has a little bit of a higher elevation and 
yeah, uh, they're all over the place here, and it's you know uh, getting to the mid or getting to mid July. So um, yeah, the National Park Service said that they think it's because of the late rains. I guess they're getting. So either way, we really lucked out. Got some whoop, we got some really nice uh, nice mist and fog this morning. Plus uh, the really the just pinks of the rhododendrons. Gorgeous. We got uh, got really lucky this morning. So we took a short little hike to uh, this waterfall area, um, fairly short anyways. Um, so late afternoon, the sun's coming through the trees, um, backlighting a lot of the foliage and stuff. And normally, I, or I used to not like these situations at all because it's really high dynamic range, dark shadows, bright highlights, but I've learned to kind of find abstract stuff in these situations because I am a lazy photographer. I don't like bracketing, I don't like doing any of that stuff most of the time. Um, so. What has helped me with these situations now is I look for kind of backlit foliage or things like that that just kind of simplify the um, crazy forest scenes and then I don't have to like do as much bracketing and stuff. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what my tip would be if you're in that situation. Um, always, you know, try to find something that kind of speaks to you, but that's kind of what I've been doing recently. It's been helping out a lot.
Good morning. Well, I'm back in the redwood grove I was in last year in my redwood video. And uh, it's hard for me not to be a little bit excited about being here. It, I, I go to the same locations a lot, but not usually consecutively, like in consecutive years. So it's kind of fun coming back, seeing the compositions I took last year and seeing if anything new pops out of me. I don't know if I'll get anything new today, but it's just fun to be here and kind of see the spots I went last year and see what uh, is different and see if there's anything that might stick out differently this year for me. So, Cause the weather's a little bit different than we had last year. So we'll see how the rest of the day goes. Um, yeah, thanks for following. I've been shooting uh, for the last couple hours, a few hours south where we were earlier today. Um, beautiful area, um, but I think I'm just kind of toasted, honestly. Haven't really been able to come up with too many um, like compositions I'm satisfi satisfied with. Nothing I'm very confident with. So I took a couple, but we'll see how they shake out. But um, we're gonna be back towards uh, Northern California tomorrow. So as always, thanks for watching. and. Uh, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, it just helps the channel out, and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much. being uh, there's this um, little waterfall area the uh, sun's coming coming through the trees here it's uh good morning well I'm back in the red root red river